What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the Skid Reviews, your place for the latest news, reactions and reviews from comic books, superheroes, television, games and music. Today I will be talking about X-Men Apocalypse. I may be talking about a few spoilers today so if you haven't watched the movie, bookmark this video, watch the movie and come back. X-Men Apocalypse is the ninth installment of the X-Men film series directed by Brian Singer with a screenplay written by Simon Kinberg. Distributed by 20th Century Fox, it had an estimated budget of around $117 million. And here's the cusp of the story. The very first mutant on Earth, Apocalypse or Ul Savanur, awakens in the 1980s and plans to take over the world and destroy the human race. So the X-Men need to stop him and defeat his team of evil mutants. Now, how do I feel about the movie? I have kind of mixed feelings about it. I know that many critics have slammed the movie, particularly um, Singer's depiction of Apocalypse, uh, played by Oscar Isaacs. But we all know that the film is going to do well regardless of what the critics say. Just look at Batman v Superman. First, what I liked about the movie. The Greek tragedy that is Eric Lenzer's story is brought to life stunningly by Michael Fassbender. He is, and I refuse to use any other word, but he is magnetic in his performance. See what I did there? As are most of the new cast members. They help to take the spotlight away from a rather anticlimactic villain. Another thing that got me excited in the movie was the character of Jean Grey played by Sansa Stark, I mean uh, by Sophie Turner. I was so excited when I saw Jean Grey's Phoenix alter ego. You see the enormity of her powers when she finally defeats Apocalypse. And that got me wondering, will they do a Phoenix Saga sometimes in the future? Ooh, I wanna see the Dark Phoenix take on the X-Men. I mean, that would be freaking awesome. Another character who I think was served well was Professor X, played by James McAvoy. McAvoy kind of has it down with his Charles Xavier alter ego, and he was pretty decent in this movie. I still think X-Men First Class was McAvoy's shining moment but he wasn't bad in X-Men Apocalypse. Jennifer Lawrence's Mystique did okay, but she did have certain problems. We all know Brian Singer has been trying to push Mystique into a leading role, but like in all other films, I felt that her character, as prominent as she was, was kind of overwhelmed. Do we really believe that Mystique could sway as much influence over young mutants as she does in the movies? I have my doubts. And you know, the reason for my doubts is probably because Mystique is kind of a minor character in the comic books. And listen, I am all for strong female leads in movies and in comic books. But I think Jean Grey will do a much better job at fulfilling that role in the future X-Men movies. And who else? Uh, Ty Sheridan who was okay as Cyclops. Uh, the brilliant Nicholas Holt was, as usual, underused as the Beast, unfortunately, again. And Olivia Munn was good. I mean, come on, it's Olivia Munn, so, you know, she's always good. But despite these good to decent performances, X-Men Apocalypse was kind of a flawed movie for me, and particularly certain characters. I didn't really hate Oscar Isaacs' Apocalypse, but I didn't really like him that much either. I mean, we all know that Oscar Isaacs is a pretty good actor, but I could not buy it when he was trying to convince me that his character would destroy the whole world. Plus, he had kind of a constipated look on his face all the time. I wasn't a really big fan of the look they went for with Apocalypse. So my final verdict about the movie, should you go and watch the movie? Before I give my verdict, you have to understand this. For many kids, including me when I was a kid, the X-Men were all about the outsiders, those who did not fit, trying to make the best of themselves in a world where they were misunderstood, shunned, and even persecuted. And Brian Singer in his X-Men series, particularly X-Men 2, incorporated these themes brilliantly. In X-Men Apocalypse, Singer does return to some of his old favorites, like Holocaust imagery, allegory for LGBT people, and the outcasts. However, the story about the outcasts, the misfits, the ones beaten down, was done so much better in X2 and First Class. So yeah, watch the movie, but don't let your expectations overwhelm you. It's an okay movie, but not as bad as the critics have made it out to be. But nowhere near 
to the masterclass that was X-Men, Brian Singer's finest hour in the whole X-Men franchise. So what did you think about X-Men Apocalypse? Did you like the look that they went for with Apocalypse? What did you think about the story? What did you think of Jean Grey? What do you think will be the future of this franchise? Do you think it should go back to Marvel or should it stay in the hands of Fox? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more content, please do like this video and subscribe to this channel. My name is Sanan and until next time, see ya!